The outcry for change to a stretch of highway. Three people died in a construction lane of I-85 yesterday. And now the neighbors, the county, and state agencies are all looking to make things safer there. Renee Wunderlich is live tonight along I-85 with some of the changes we'll see. Renee? Carol, Michael, the SCDOT says they're going to explore all options. This as the community is speaking out. A crash that killed three people yesterday along Interstate 85 has many calling for a change. What happens is you don't, you don't have a, an opportunity to go to the left or the right. You're in the chute. So if someone stops for some reason in front of you, you have nothing to do but to collide into them. It happened between concrete barriers on either side of a single southbound lane through a construction zone. Many call it the chute. The county coroner calls it. It is a death trap. In a letter from the Cherokee County Council sent to South Carolina's Department of Transportation, Council suggested a list of safety changes, reducing the speed to 45 miles an hour, keeping all tractor trailers in the right lane, and more law enforcement. Went through travel baseball and basketball this summer uh, from Atlanta, Georgia to Chesapeake, Virginia, which is about a 700 mile stretch. Uh, in our opinion, this is the most dangerous stretch that we've been on this summer. Unfortunately, that's in our own county. There's also a petition to get rid of the shoots. I don't feel comfortable getting on 85 with my kids in the car. I don't feel comfortable getting on 85 with myself in the car. WYFF News 4 Investigates broke down data from the State Department of Public Safety Records. That data shows there have been 12 deadly crashes throughout the zone since the widening project started in 2017. Three of those crashes happened since last November. And starting tomorrow, the SCDOT says there will be police at the construction zone to try and keep things safer. They also say that they do want to reduce the speed down to 45 miles per hour within that area. And they say they're going to work with community partners to make those signs clearer. There is still a lot of concern, though, so we will follow up on this as it moves forward. Live tonight along the I-85, Renee Wonderlich, WYFF News 4.